Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nick Pupo here, a local stand-up comedian in Orlando. We're here with Alex Luchin, also a local stand-up comedian. How you doing? And we are uh, interviewing Tom Green today. Tom, how you doing, man? Hey, how are you? What's going on, guys? How you doing? Good, good. So, uh, so you're coming to Orlando at the Plaza Theater, right? Yes, exactly. I'm excited. I'm excited to be coming to Orlando at the Plaza Theater. We're going to have fun. That's great. Orlando man. and then Tampa. We're going to have a good time. Awesome. It's gonna be awesome. I've been touring for the last uh, couple of years and uh, really having a great time doing it. And uh, and uh, I'm excited to be coming to Orlando for the first time, right? Yeah. Oh, this is the first time, huh? First time performing with this with the stand up. Yeah, absolutely. Stand up is is pretty new to you, huh? You didn't start off as a stand up comedian, did you? Yeah, I was doing stand up when I was, it was, I was a lot younger, like 25 years ago, and uh, I started doing it when I was 15 years old. I loved doing it. That's sort of what led to Tom Green show and doing that on public access TV in Canada, and then, uh, and then uh, that's how I ended up getting on MTV, but I really haven't been doing stand-up, you know, uh, until about two years ago, I, two, or two and a half years ago, I really started doing it again full-time, and that's really been loving it, and been touring all over the world, and having a great time, so. Yeah, that's awesome. It's been going real well, and having a lot of fun, and uh, the shows are really uh, off the chain. Yeah? The, I've been really enjoying putting together the, the, the show, and writing jokes a lot and, and ideas for this has been something that I've really been consumed with and you know I'm not feeling you know like it's been it's been nice that I've had the opportunity to just tour nonstop because I've really been getting up on stage a lot you know and, yeah. and uh and just uh it's really uh really been fun um did you feel like it was actually uh like difficult to transition from just being an actor and you know a talk show host to doing comedy again like you feel like people expected a lot from you at first and it was kind of nerve-wracking or um, you know i mean you know stand-up comedy is not something that you can just sort of do on a whim without thinking about it and i approached it like that i approached it with a lot of thought into it and uh, i've always loved getting up on stage and doing stand-up and I've, I've always really enjoyed you know the process of putting that together it's very exciting it's a real adrenaline rush for me i really really uh, have a great time doing it so you know, I didn't approach it lightly, uh, but I've, I've really been, you know, having, you know, the, the initial pleasant supply, surprise was just how, how much fun I was having on stage and how, how well things were going over and the audience has been really receptive. So from there, it's just a matter of, you know, what I've been doing with it. And, and uh, you know, I just want to hope people come up to see the show in Orlando and just come see what I'm doing. We're going to have a good time. Yeah, absolutely. The Plaza Theater is a great um, venue, too. Yeah, it's, it, I'm excited about, about coming. That's great. Do you find that the audiences that you, in our case, doing like uh, local stuff, we we were we're presented with a lot of different types of audiences. Do you find that the majority of your audience tend to be fans? Do you get a lot of new people out? I mean, are you getting feedback from the audiences beyond just immediate feedback from your um, obviously what is probably a very fun uh, stage performance? Uh, but are you finding different audiences? Are you getting booked in anywhere weird by chance? I've been getting a real mixture of people. It also depends on where in the world I am. Like, I've toured all over Australia, all over Canada, uh, London, England. I'm going to the Edinburgh Comedy Festival this August. Um, and then, of course, all over the U.S. And, uh, you know, I get a mixture of people, people that know me from the movies or from my television show or from my Internet site, um, you know, which is uh, it's always fun. But then I also get a lot of people that just come to the show or just fans of stand-up comedy in general and are coming to check out what I'm doing. And, you know, my show... My television show on MTV was always very outrageous and silly and provocative, and, right. and that's what my stand-up is also. I'm trying to push the envelope and, and make people kind of uh, surprise people and uh, and, and uh, catch people off guard in a lot of ways that I, I did on my TV show. So, so it's, uh, I think it's, you know everyone's leaving enjoying themselves. You know whether they came because they were a fan of my old show or whether they came to see this stand-up comedy show that they're fans of stand-up. So yeah, I'm getting a real broad audience. Really kind of cool. That's great, man. Yeah. One of the most fun shows uh, I did this year, the most interesting, I guess, was I went to Afghanistan a few months ago and performed for a uh, military, and I was I was performing for about five thousand U- uh, U.S., Canadian, British, Australian troops, and troops from all over the coalition countries, and it was just kind of cool being, uh, you know, performing for a whole a whole variety of people like that, you know. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I was in Irvine. 
um, recently, actually about a year ago, and I saw you were performing there uh, at the Irvine Improv. Um, but you came here and you're, you're, you, you decided to play the Plaza Theater instead. What made you choose the Plaza Theater over the Improv? Well, I've been playing at Improv all over the country, and I'm actually playing at the Improv in Tampa uh, that weekend. So basically, we just added one show in Orlando uh, just to tag onto my improv dates in Tampa. So, right. so I, I, I'm, uh, you know, I'd love to come back and play the Orlando improv. I like playing theaters and, and, and comedy clubs. They're both, uh, you know, different, but uh, I enjoy them a lot. And uh, basically, you know, I, I got, you know, like I, I sort of go where the wind takes me a little bit. You know, I go where people call and book me. And uh, I was in Tampa anyway. Somebody called from Orlando to book me for one night there and uh, to see what you could see to do, pop up and uh, knock out another city, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, do you do you prefer a theater venue over a comedy club or a comedy club over a theater? I mean, which one seems to be the, the, the more uh, responsive crowd? I Honestly, I love both. They're, they are different, uh, but I do love both. It's great being up on stage and a taller stage with a larger audience and and, you know, I do, you know, but I do a very theatrical show regardless. I'm very physical and high energy in my show, even in a comedy club. So so sometimes I'm a theater, that's fun. But then the intimacy of a, of a comedy club is also fun, you know. So uh, so I, I do like both. I'm shooting a comedy special uh, in September or September 30th in Boston at the Wilbur Theater. And I played there before last year. And I really love, I love that feeling of being up, uh, you know, on a, on a theatrical stage also so yeah it's gonna be a good night will people recognize um any of the bits that you're doing now for maybe the show because you have a very very unique sense of humor in the sense that you seem to be very boisterous and very physical and um uh you know very overt with people um when you do your comedy yet you obviously have a very um keen sense of observation of people your little asides that you have sometimes when it's just you and the camera does your comedy lean more towards that I mean you said that you were also very physical on stage and you enjoyed the theater because of that or theater crowds because of that um, but do you find your comedy is still that mix or are you leaning more towards one side doing stand-up specifically uh, you know I, 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 I have a whole, whole variety of different things that I'm doing in my show and you know certainly reacting off of the audience's energy is something that I really love and I, I love the sort of improvisation that I am able to bring into the show every night and and uh, and feeling the energy of the crowd and responding to that. I also, you know, I have a lot of things that I'm talking about that are important to me that I try to convey not only laughs but also to just get people thinking about some of the things that are happening in this changing world that we're living in. There is an element of social commentary to the show and uh, and, uh, you know, of course, I'm not sitting there preaching about, you know, the state of the world, but I, uh, I am, you know, uh, making jokes about it. And, uh, and, and there is an underlying point to that. So I enjoy that also. And uh, I enjoy the physical side of, 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 of what I do, you know, just doing funny things with my face or with my body on stage. And, uh, but I sort of, sort of combine it all together, and I don't do too much of one thing, I hope. I just kind of try to keep it sort of interesting and keep it moving, you know. Excellent, man. That's really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that I'll be able to get to see you. I mean, obviously, I, I mean, I've been a fan since, since uh, your show on MTV, and, and, uh, I mean, speak, speaking of which, I mean, is it possible, um, just to keep some people updated now, since it's been a while, uh, where is your bum right now? It's on my legs. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, well, that's fantastic. That's actually great to know. You know, it's, it's pretty much. Uh not attached to anything at the moment, thankfully. Oh, that's interesting. But there is a possibility that it could be on the Swedish? It could be on the Swedish. Okay. On the Swedish. Swedish. <laughs> uh, my thumb is going to be on Orlando. Yes. It's be on Orlando. My thumb is on Orlando. My thumb is on Orlando. Look at me. My thumb is on Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, is it, what is it, July 20th, you're going to be at the Plaza Theater, right? I think that is the date, yeah. Yeah, it's a Thursday, so check out uh, Tom Green at the Plaza Theater July 20th, everybody. Tom, thanks yeah, so much, you. man. Let's party. Let's party, Orlando. Let's rock and roll. Good times, yes. Woo. Yeah, and thank you so much, man. Hey, thanks for calling, guys. I appreciate it. Have a beer up the show. Awesome. All right. All right. See you, man. Say-